You thought I was over cranberries. I'm not. We are going to experiment with acorn squash and we're going to fill it with cranberry sauce of a certain type. It's like a savory cranberry sauce. Yeah, I found the cranberries in the freezer section, so it can be done. Okay, here's your chance. Take a screenshot. This is the ingredient list. Got it? Now cut the squash in half. Scoop out the seeds. Lay your halves face down in a baking dish. Add just a bit of water so this here nut squash doesn't dry out. Pop it in the oven. I use two different baking dishes. Get creative if you don't have what you need. In a skillet, we make the cranberry deliciousness. Chop a handful of celery, about the same of onion, peel and dice an apple, and scoop a cup of cranberries out of the bag. Melt a heaping tablespoon of butter into your skillet satisfying to watch for real. Add your celery and onions, mix and cook and cook and mix until it's golden, like Harry Styles says. Dump in your apple, some twists of salt and pepper, and a squeeze of half a lemon. Cook it down so the apple softens, but not applesauce soft. Add your cranberries next. A three count pour of maple syrup, and about a fourth cup of water. Keep stirring and it'll cook down. The cranberries will start popping and it'll eventually end up a jammy consistency. Take your squash out of the oven, flip it over and reverse it and fill it with the cranberry jam. Bake it again. Essentially, it's ready to go, but I topped mine with walnuts and I think a goat cheese would be nice on this too if you do the cheese thing or a cashew cream would be nice. It smells good. Wow, wow. I really love this. The celery and the onion and the cranberry and the apple and then the pepper. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the walnuts on top, great. I think this is my favorite thing that I've ever made. My mom's calling me. I'm gonna answer that. Call your mom and go get some cranberries.